guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a super short tutorial to show you guys how I customize my lace front to weave when I wear it. And by customize, I don't mean the bleaching and the tinting and all of that. I've already done videos on that. If you're interested in seeing it, I'll leave the links in the description box below. Today, I uh, actually just want to show you guys how I blend my lace front to weave. Uh, using makeup um, and then how I lay down my edges okay although you've already customized it you've already bleached tinted on all of that sometimes it, you can still see that there is lace so I want to show you guys like um, this is properly customized but if somebody is like really close to you they can still see that it's a lace and the way you blend that in is with makeup so I've gone out and I bought like a cheap palette it's like a contour palette, but I use it to blend my, my weave when I'm wearing a lace front weave. And um, it is by Beauty Treats. Their uh, brand is quite affordable. If you go to Discam, you can buy this. I didn't want to spend too much money on something I'm going to be using on my head. So I went out and, uh, and I bought this, you know. At the end of the day, it does the job. And um, what I want to do with that is just blend my line, okay, my parting, sorry. I want to blend my parting and then I also just want to blend with the lace begins. If you see um, over there, I'm going to blend with the lace begins with a bit of makeup. Okay, so I'm going to go in with um, this shade over here. Just because your scalp is generally a bit lighter than your skin. And I'm trying to do this on camera, um, which is not easy. So please forgive me if I'm out of frame or if for some reason you cannot see something. Um, so what I want to do is just make my parting stand out a bit more, okay? I actually think I need a mirror for this. I'm going to grab a mirror. Okay, so I have my mirror here right now. I'm going to use my mirror instead because it's been really, really hard to do this on camera. But yeah, basically I want to use that tone over there and you want to use an angled brush or any brush really that is a bit thin and will allow you to really get into your parting without putting too much product oh and a note is please when you're doing this do not use any wet products you want to keep it dry okay the reason being um wet products can kind of get into your scalp into the hair and then it starts looking messy waste powder is it's quite quick easy to dust off if you made a mistake or oh, you put too much um, so it's advisable to just stick to dry stick to like a dry palette what you can also do is um, pluck out the hair on your body but i don't like to do that because then my unit i'll have to use my unit where i flat out the hair so i rather use makeup because then i'm free to part my unit wherever i want to if i feel like parting it on this side i can also do that because i don't have like a defined line on any side of the unit and then i have another brush and you can really use whatever brush you have just make sure it's nice and slim so that you can really get into there now I'm going to go in with this brown hair because this is like more my shade and I'm going to try and blend the front of the unit here. Okay, so it's a bit more blended right now and what I want to do now is just show you guys. So whenever you purchase a lace frontal wig and it says, and whoever you purchase it from says, it's a glueless lace frontal wig. Glueless means you don't need any glue to, for the unit to sit on your head. So the unit I'm wearing right now is a glueless lace frontal wig. But, but glueless also means that uh, sometimes your edges over here are going to be out okay and that the reason for that is because the, the way they make the unit is if they put in an elastic band so that you don't require any glue for the unit to um to sit on your head but the problem with that is if you have a very forward hairline um like i do and your hairline starts really forward sometimes it's a problem to blend it in and your edges will always sort of be out okay 
this is different to the units that you need glue to lay it down because then they will, the, the, the supplier or whoever you purchase the hair from, at least I know that for my units, when I say glue this, I always tell people that a bit of your edges are going to be out and then I just show you guys how to blend it in. But if it's not a glueless wig, I will leave the flaps on. But for that, you need glue, sort of glue it down. And normally, the um, flaps on a unit that's not glueless will come up to here and they'll really cover like a full hairline. Um, I prefer those units compared to this one. But the reality is that these ones are much easier to install. And also, if you're like a beginner to wigs, it's much easier to just use a glueless unit as opposed to going and doing because not everybody knows how to do that, especially not at home. So to cover up those edges, especially if you have natural hair like I do, it can be very, very ugly to have these edges out. I'm gonna go ahead and just take out a bit of hair from here, like that. And I'll create a little bit of like sideburn with the hair here like that. And that's sort of gonna cover my um, it's sort of gonna cover my my edges and I'm also just gonna blend it in with like gel so I've already cut out the baby hairs on my unit you can see the short hair here uh, but if in case your unit came without baby hairs what you really want to do is you want to pull out like strings of hair like really really small not a lot uh, just a little bit as you can see it's like tiny amount of hair out here okay and then you want to trim it you want it to be as i don't know if you can see but you want it to be as short as possible really short this is even long let me trim it a bit more Okay, then I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal and I'm going to start creating the waves. a big fan of a lot of baby hair so I tend to take like really small and I will even only do like the front I only do I only do the front I only do the rest of it if I'm gonna pull out the unit but most of the most of the time I use it loose so I only do like two waves at the front and the side and that is it like I know some people like a lot of baby hair but it just doesn't make sense guys nobody's baby nobody has that much baby hair on the on their head so try to keep it as natural as possible if you can just because it's just natural so I've done three waves and then when I come to here remember we created sideburns I'm just gonna pull my sideburn out I'm gonna cut it a bit more and Uh, so my brush just broke doing this and it's been so annoying me doing this with the brush broken so i'm trying my best here so who watched the global citizen concert where beyonce had this insane edges and sideburns guys it was and I mean insane in a good way, it was just perfect. So she had like this wavy sideburn going all the way down and I thought it was absolutely amazing because Beyonce can do no wrong in my eyes, obviously. I mean, she's the queen. Maybe one of these days I'll try and recreate the Beyonce sideburn for today. I'm really just trying to cover my own edges here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side real quick. Okay, 
Okay guys, so this is the end result. Um, I didn't really lay down too much on this side because my spoolie brush just broke. And it's being a bit hard to lay down the edges on this side, but I think you guys kind of got the idea. Get yourself a spoolie, get yourself a palette like this one. Uh, make sure that you, it has all of the shades that match your skin tone. And then every time you wear your wig, you want to just quickly um, do that um, so that you can blend out your lace frontal wig. It really, really makes a difference, I promise you. So um, yeah, that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. I'm going to leave the link to how I customize a lace frontal um, unit in the description box below. That also really, really helps to blend in your lace frontal unit. Uh, in fact, that's probably 80% of it and then 20% of it is blending it in with makeup. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.